I had this, I had these series of projects in my home that I'm planning on doing, and one of them was take all the wooden planks off my dock and replace it with synthetic materials. So I had this massive pry bar, and this was about day two, and I'm, and every time I <clears throat> get up, you know, my back would kind of hurt, but you just kind of work it out, and I grab this pry bar and I give it a, give it a good heave, trying to go one of these, uh, one of these nasty boards up, and then it just snapped. General Amos clearly had some difficulties when he showed up, but when reviewing his films, the amount of curve to his spine was quite significant. But facing, facing something like a lack of mobility, especially after having been in the Marine for 42 years, and you know, that's a pretty physical organization. And having been in fairly good shape, and all of a sudden now you can't, you can't do, you can't do something. You can't even hardly get out of bed. So I, I didn't want to face that. And so the choice was easy for me. We decided to take a more minimally invasive approach in order to help him recover a little faster. The way we did this was actually a two-part procedure done the same day. The first part included a surgery where we started him laying on his side. We made a small incision about two inches on his side and we were able to come down to his spine, remove the discs that had created the problem, and place spacers in those disc spaces to restore the normal height and size of those disc spaces. We then placed him facing down. The second part of the procedure we could have done in a traditional open fashion, however we decided that we got enough correction with the lateral part that we were able to do a more minimally invasive approach from the back. But I got up that afternoon at the hospital and began to walk around all the way down, you know, around the hallways, around the nurses' stations, and all the way back. I will tell you, I had zero pain. None. And to this day, I've had zero pain. I don't know where else you could get that kind of personal care. I didn't get that kind of personal care in the military, and I was a pretty senior guy, and I knew all the docs, and they cared for me, they took me to care, but I didn't get that kind of personal care. And I'll tell you what, I feel like I got my life back again.